Donaldson knocks it down, comes up firing, and got him. Josh Donaldson, 35 years old, still has the quickness over there at the hot corner, knocking this down, making that throw. Very nice to see there. John Gant uh, was kind of the headliner in the Twins' victory over Cleveland today. He pitched five shutout innings, only gave up three hits, did walk four batters, but kind of balanced that out with seven strikeouts. Seven strikeouts in five innings for John Gant. Really went hard with the changeup. That's a really nice pitch for him. 30 changeups he threw in this game, and he had eight swinging strikes on that pitch. It's a nice pitch he can command in the zone. Uh, kind of interesting to see what they're going to do with this guy going forward. Brent Rooker hit his seventh home run of the season. He's coming off kind of an underwhelming August off to a nice start here in September. Really needs to take advantage. This is kind of his window to prove himself here. Uh, really needs to take advantage of that. So nice to see. He, it would be cool to see him finish strong. Luis Arise hits a triple that scores a nice insurance run. Uh, he saw 30 pitches in this game, Luis Arise. And Alex Colomay got the save. His ERA is now under four. Jose Miranda here leading off for St. Paul. The first pitch of the game he singles on. And then he ends up scoring from first base on a Gilberto Celestino double here. Uh, Celestino really continues to play well for St. Paul since getting sent down. That's great to see. Uh, but Miranda does a little bit of everything. You know, he's athletic. Uh, he obviously can hit. Uh, scores from first again here for the Saints. Later on in this game, uh, a guy I didn't recognize at first, to be honest with you. <laughs> Who is this guy? Anyway, 0-2 count, lefty on lefty. You know, two down, bad situation, you figure. Nope, gone. Killed the pitcher, too, by the way, if you saw that reaction from the pitcher. That's Mark Contreras with hitting his 14th home run, a three-run homer that tied the game. Didn't recognize him because his mustache is gone. Where's his mustache? <laughs> he kind of alludes to that, I think, uh, right about here. I don't know if it was a bad luck, the mustache. Maybe it was good luck cutting it. I'm not sure. But uh, Austin Martin, laser beam to third base for an RBI say Okay. Uh, check swing, oopsie daisy, swinging bunt, but kind of he looks fast even in slow motion. That's that's why I wanted to show this. Beats this out for an RBI. And Wichita won tonight. Cole Sands, six innings pitched, just one run, and it was unearned. So big start for him. That's great to see. Matt Walner, Minnesota product. Matt Walner, of course. Uh, he's up here with the bases loaded and Cedar Rapids in a deep hole early on, but he makes up uh, quite a bit of that deficit with one swing of the bat here, a grand slam, works his way to a 2-0 count, hits it right over that 360 sign out in right field. And Matt Walner uh, didn't quite uh, get to the end of this game before I started recording, but he had an 850 OPS for Cedar Rapids at the time uh, that I'm recording this. A three-hit night for him at the time I'm recording as well. And then Edward Julian, another home run. He also drew two walks, which is kind of what he's more known for, but he goes over the DiGiorno sign. It's not delivery. It's Edward Julian. <laughs> this is his 10th home run in 54 games with Cedar Rapids so far. And he had an 844 OPS as I recorded this. No joke. Christian Encarnacion strand for Fort Myers had three more hits and a walk. One of those hits was a triple. This guy is an alien. Uh, he's just... <laughs> Outrageous. Who hit? What is that? that? That stat line His betting average and his OPS. Thank you for checking this out. This has been Tom. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more Twins Talk here on YouTube.